Hi, this problem or this video is for Chem 2045. We're doing problems for exam number three, and we're going to do um, something from fall 2009 exam. This is practice problem number 16. 16 says, which of the following pairs is arranged with the particle of higher polarizability listed first? So the key word in this problem is polarizability, and it gives us four um, different choices. And the first one here is a comparison between SD2 minus and S2 minus. So the first thing we could do is um, check out where they sit on the periodic table. And when we looked at looking at the periodic table, we see that S is number 16, and then SD sits below it. And we know from uh, periodic trends that uh, as we move down the periodic table, size increases. So we know that SC is larger than S, and because they have the same charge, this means they have the same valence electron, so we're not going to consider those. Um, instead, we're going to look at the um, periodic trend. So we know that SC is typically larger than S. So that means SC is more polarizable. So SC is more polarizable than S. Um, that means we have answer choice one correct. Well, let's go ahead and do the other two parts. So this was part one. Uh, part two says we have um, the parent atom I and I minus. So iodine and I minus. Now, uh, we can't compare this on the table, but another trend we know about polarizability is that anions are going to be more polarizable than the parent atom. And this is because we have iodine here, um, we'll say it's this size, but if you throw an electron in here, then that atom has to take up an extra electron, and the cloud is going to get larger. So this here is I minus, or the added electron. So I minus is going to be larger than its parent atom, because it has the extra electron to deal with. So this one is false, because I minus is less than its parent atom. I mean, it's larger than its parent atom. More polarizable. So uh, part three says um, we have magnesium two plus and the parent atom magnesium. So if we compare magnesium and magnesium two plus, uh, we can do the same comparison over here. We have magnesium, which is say this size, and then um, the 2 plus charge means that we're taking away electrons, so we're removing 2 electrons. That means we'll be left with this positive uh, molecule, where it's loss of its electrons, so its electron cloud is going to be smaller, and therefore the size will be smaller. So this is magnesium. 2 plus. With it being smaller, that means it's less polarizable. So magnesium 2 plus is less polarizable than its parent atom because the atom is smaller. So part 4, we have bromine and iodine. Both of these are the um, ground state uh, neutral charges. Um, so we should probably look at these on the periodic table, and we'll see that we have bromine sitting above iodine, which means that bromine is smaller than iodine because size increases down the table. So this larger atom is going to be more polarizable with its larger cloud. So bromine is less polarizable than iodine. So number four, we have uh, bromine listed first, which means we're in uh, increasing order. So this one's also false. <coughs> so uh, the only one that's listed in order of increasing polarizability is problem one, or part one. Now, it's, I should also point out to you that um, polarizability also changes when you move down a period. So let's say you have um, lithium 
and beryllium. Beryllium has um, more protons than lithium um, and more electrons, but the effective uh, nuclear charge of beryllium is greater, so the electrons are going to be pulled tighter, so this is going to be smaller. That means lithium is going to be more polarizable than beryllium. So um, from this problem, we know that we need to know the trends in polarizability of atoms.